from Philo to Theophilus, the first century to second century Trinity connection. Philo of Alexandria was a first century Jewish Greek philosopher who loved philosophy, mysticism, and other things. Theophilus of Antioch was a second century philosopher who also was considered a Christian and a bishop of the church, but they had this thing in common that they were both philosophers. Another area of importance in the study of Philo is his use of logos and wisdom concepts and beliefs. Philo's ideas about logos wisdom are also indispensable for New Testament studies, most directly in the interpretation of the Gospel of John, especially the prologue, John 1.1. This is Philo's contribution to Christianity. Theophilus believed, like Philo, that God was God, Word, and Wisdom. But what else is this voice but the Word of God, who is also His Son? He then, being Spirit of God and governing principle and wisdom and power of the highest, came down upon the prophets. Yes, Theophilus taught that God was God, Word, and Wisdom, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Philo to Theophilus connection, they had the Greek philosophy and the same concept and ideas, such as God, Word, and Wisdom, which Theophilus took from Philo of Alexandria. This is historical. The three days before the creation of the sun or luminaries is also a concept that Theophilus took from Philo of Alexandria. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, showing that at first God was alone, and the Word in Him. Then he says, the Word was God. All things came into existence through Him. Theophilus took up John 1.1. 1, 1. Whenever the Father of the universe wills, He sends Him to any place, and He coming is both heard and seen, being sent by Him, and is found in a place. God allotted three days to eternity before the appearance of the sun. Philo, page 290. In like manner also the three days which were before the luminaries are types of the trinity of God and His Word and His Wisdom. Theophilus by, meant by this Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Quoting Genesis 1.26, Theophilus states, But to no one else than his own word and wisdom did he say, Let us make man in our image. This is quoting from Genesis. And then John 1.1, 1, 1, Theophilus states, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, showing that at first God was alone, and the word in him. In other words, Theophilus taught the same as Philo, that the word was begotten before all ages, First to coin the word Trinity, Theophilus took this from Philo, along with all his concepts and beliefs. There is no way around this. The first man to coin the word Trinity was a follower of Philo, and he was also into philosophy. This is how the Trinity doctrine came from a Jewish Greek philosopher to the church and the church communities. The connection between Philo and Theophilus, Greek philosophy, concept of the three days before creation, concept of God, word, and wisdom, pre-existent logos, who was begotten, wisdom concept as pre-existent with the Father, the use of the prologue, John 1, 1, with Philo's interpretation, Genesis 1, 26, Theophilus used Philo's interpretation. Theophilus was a follower of Philo. And he would not err who should raise the question why Moses attributed the creation of man alone, not to one creator, but to several. It is on this account that Moses says at the creation of man alone that God said, let us make man 
which expression shows an assumption of other beings to himself as assistance. Five, page nine.